Hey YouTube. So last night I was on my phone browsing through Reddit like I sometimes do when I came across this post here uh, within the TickTick -tick subreddit. It's talking about integrating Clockify with TickTick. -tick. And I'm actually really excited about this because I use Clockify uh, to track my hours on what I'm working on um, for time reporting purposes on a daily basis. And if I can integrate those two, TickTick -tick and Clockify, then it'll make my process just that much smoother. So let's take a look at what this Reddit post says and see if we can't make it work. So this says, um, Clockify recently added a browser extension and an API-based integration with TickTick. -tick. And that's really all the information that's given here in this Reddit post. But I think we might be able to figure it out from here. So it sounds like the first thing we need is to get the Clockify uh, browser extension. So let me just search for Clockify browser extension. And I'll just click on the first one here, Clockify. And I need to click on the button Get Clockify for Chrome because that's the browser that I'm using. Add to Chrome and add extension. And so this will install the Clockify browser extension into Chrome. It says it has been added. All right, so then if I go up to this little puzzle piece up on the top of Chrome, I can see that the Clockify Time Tracker browser extension has been added. And if I click on this, I need to log in first to Clockify in order for this to work, I think. So let me log in here. Now that I'm logged in, uh, let me click on the puzzle piece again, the browser extension. Now it looks like I could start tracking uh, my time from this browser extension if I wanted to. But that's not really what I want to do here. What I want to do is track my time from TickTick. -tick. So from this screen where I have the browser extension pulled up, I can click on these uh, three lines or the hamburger menu it's sometimes called. And if I go down here, I can see that there's an integrations option. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to bring up all the integrations that are possible with Clockify. Now it looks like they're all enabled by default if I'm reading this page correctly. And let me just scroll down to make sure that TickTick -tick is also enabled. So here's TickTick. -tick. Looks like it's enabled. So uh, there's really nothing I have to do here. Uh, it doesn't look like. So let's open up TickTick -tick and see what we see then. All right, so I've got my TickTick -tick pulled up now on my screen. Uh, let me just go up to the first task here, fix wiring. And look what I see over here now. Underneath the task name is a little button that has the Clockify logo, and it says Start Timer. So let's say that I'm going to start fixing the wiring. I should be able to just click this button, and a little Clockify window comes up. I believe the timer has started already, uh, but it, it looks like it brings the task name in to the time description, and I can add a project here. I don't have any projects, so let me just click No Project and see if it lets me... I'm going to click Done at this point. So it looks like the timer is going, uh, because the only option I have here is Stop Timer. So I'm going to flip back over to my Clockify screen, and look at this. My timer is going, right? So I have a fixed wiring task going. It's been going for about 60 seconds now, one minute. All right, so... Theoretically, I can stop the timer from TickTick -tick as well. So flipping back over to TickTick, -tick, uh, I'm going to click the stop timer. Nothing pops up from Clockify, but let me flip back over to Clockify. Yeah, so it has stopped my timer at this point. My fixed wiring is logged now for a minute and 12 seconds. So this looks like it's working pretty good. Uh, this is going to make my process uh, quite a bit smoother if I can just... Um, track my time and start my timer from TickTick -tick, and it's all getting logged within Clockify uh, because Clockify is really a time tracking system. Uh, unlike TickTick, -tick, which is a task management system, Clockify is designed to track your time, uh, report on your time, so forth. So that's what it's designed for. 
But let me go back over to TickTick. -tick. I want to try one other thing here. So I'm going to go to Clean Vents. I'm going to click Start Timer. So my timer has started on Clean Vents, and I'm going to flip over to Clockify, make sure that that's happening. Yes, it is. It's going for 15 seconds. And I'm going to flip back over to TickTick -tick now and go to Store Artifacts. And I'm going to start this timer as well. And I'm going to click the Done button. Now I should have two timers going, right? No, I didn't think so. So what happened here was when I clicked the Start Timer for Store Artifacts, the other timer that was going, which was for Clean Vents, stopped. So it stopped at 28 seconds. And my Store Artifacts timer started at that point. So I was just curious about that point, if I could start two timers or if it ended one and then started the new one, which it looks like it does. So that's good. Um, but like I said, I'm very excited about this integration since I already use Clockify and I already use TickTick. -tick, so using them together is gonna make my process uh, very smooth. The other thing I wanted to point out though is that if you do use Clockify, let me go back into that browser extension and pull up that integrations list. If you happen to use Clockify and use any of these other apps, I'm just kind of looking through the list here. I mean, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Mail. Um, so there's a lot of integrations that they have built in with Clockify. And to be honest, I wasn't even aware of these integrations. I might have to look into some of these other integrations as well. I mean, it might help me out. Well, let me know in the comments. Do you use Clockify or do you use TickTick -tick to track your time? How do you track your time? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.